In the last video, we looped through all our posts and we displayed it on our index page. And in this video, we're going to set it up where we could click on a link and it'll just display one individual post. And we're going to be using the permalink for that. That's a WordPress function. And if I pull up my checklist here, so uh, we're going to be using the permanent link. We'll look at the documentation on that. And then a little later, we'll create a single .php file. And that's for displaying individual posts. But you could also use your index page to display individual posts. But we'll get into that pretty soon. And then we'll be using these two functions also in this video. So let's first start off with the permanent link. We're going to go and add that. So let's go check that out in the documentation. And I have four uh, useful links up here, four pages. You, that you can reference and the first one is the template tags and just navigate down to the link tags and here is the permanent link so let's just go and check this out oh and by the way you'll be able to find this link down in the description you just go down there and click on that and you'll be able to find this a lot quicker so I'm just gonna right click I want to keep this page open and then open this in a new tab okay great and then this shows you a few ways you could use the permanent link and I'm just gonna use it as a link and then inside the link, I'll have the title. So they'll be able to click on the title and it'll, sh it'll show that individual post. So this is perfect for us. So let's go and you just use this. Then also, I'm going to output this permalink to the screen so you can see what this permalink is actually given us. So I'm going to go back to the code editor. So here on the index page inside of the loop, we're just going to go and paste this right at the top. Okay, great. And then this, I'll just copy this part of it. Still want to keep this. Copy that. And then I'm just going to put that right inside the title. Okay, great. So now uh, let's go and output this permalink to the screen. So I'm just going to go get rid of this. Then inside of a PHP tag, we'll just output the permalink. Okay, great. All right, so uh, let's go and just save that and let's check it out in the browser. If we refresh the screen, we should get this as a link, this uh, title. So let's refresh it. Okay, that's working. So let's go and click on this and we should get an individual post. All right, great. So now what we want to do is right now the, this single post is being displayed on the index page. And we want to use this single.php file instead to display our individual post. The reason is for that is that gives us more options to customize our individual post. So if we go out to the documentation and check out uh, the single.php file. And right here, I'll, again, I'll have this link in the description below. You could just click on that and you could find this quicker. Then right here are, are all the uh, theme files that are recognized by WordPress. And if we go down to here, here is the single.php. And it says right here for single posts. So that's what we're going to use. So let's go and create the single.php file. So right here in the root of our theme, we want to create a new file and name it single.php. Now it's important that we name, name it uh, single.php. And also it's important that we keep this in the root because WordPress recognizes this document. So now we could go and just copy our index page and paste it right into our single. And then we could customize our single.php file without affecting the index. So let's go into the index and just copy all this. And then in the later video, keep in mind, I'm going to be cutting all this up, this page. Like I'm going to be creating a header.php file and a footer.php file and making this more organized. But for now, we could just copy it all. So control A. And control C, copy that, and then just throw that right in here. Okay, great. So now we could go and customize this single post just the way we want it. So I'm just going to go and add a class to this section tag. Single post, that'd be good. And then also let's go ahead and add it like an H1 tag. And this is just temporary. This is just so we can know what page we're on. And then we're going to go ahead and add some custom styles to this page so we know that we're on a different page. So let's go and just copy this and we'll do the same thing inside the index page. Copy that. Just go ahead and save this. Then go in the index page and just replace the section tag. And then 
change this to index and change this to post. Okay, great. So now all we need to do is add some styles. So here is the main.css file, and I'm just going to go and time lapse this and add a, several styles to this. Okay, great. So nothing special here, just a border around our all post page and then a border around our single post page just different colors and then I just changed the color of some text and that's pretty much it so if we save this and we go and check it out in the browser and see how it looks but first one more thing let's go to our single page and now we don't need the permanent link anymore we don't need to link to a single post anymore so let's go ahead and get rid of this link right here and get rid of this ending tag here and then get rid of this. All right, that's pretty good for customizing our single page. So let's go in the browser and check it out and see how it looks. So let's go ahead and refresh it and see how it looks. And as you can see, we got a border and we're in the index page. Okay, great. So let's go and check out our single.php file. So we click on that. And as you can see, our single.php file is kicking in. So great. So now we're using a single.php file to show our single post. So now if you ever refresh your screen and your styles don't kick in, and I run into this problem once in a while, just go up to, in Chrome anyways, just go up to the menu up here, click on that, go down to Tools, then go to Clear Browsing Data interested in clearing is the cached images and files but I, I'll just select it all and I'll just clear everything that's what I personally do but you could just select this one individual one then hit clear browsing data and that will clear out your cached style sheet and then you could refresh it and it should work because sometimes I hit refresh and the styles don't kick in like they're supposed to and I realize it's that so now that that's done let's go and move on to the next thing on our checklist so if I pull that up here so now what we're going to do is use the excerpt. Now the excerpt, it, what that does is it minimizes your text. Like let's say for example on our main page here, let's say there's you know ten posts here and they got you know ten paragraphs of text. You don't want all that on your main blog page. You might want to minimize some of your text, and that's what the ex the excerpt is for. So if we go check that out in the documentation. Now this is the same page, the template tags page that we were, were on, we were on when we were checking out the permalink. So let's go down and the, the excerpt is right here. So if we right click on that and check this out. Okay, great, and it's in a new tab. So this is all the documentation on how to use it. And what I like down here at the bottom, uh, there's contributors, they give snippets of code that you might not that gives you ideas that you might not come up with yourself i really like to check this out a lot down here like this is a great little piece of snippet right here it checks to see what page you are on like if you're in the archive page or category page but we'll be getting into that a little later but right down here is another piece of snippet or actually up here and this we're going to be getting into this adding a filter but for now what we'll do is we'll just use the default so let's just go and copy this. And we're going to replace the content on our index page. So let's go back to our index page. So in our index page, we want to go ahead and paste that right here. Replace the content with the excerpt. So now what that's going to do is it's going to minimize our, our text. And I think it's down to like 55 characters or something like that, I'm pretty sure. So let's go back, save this, and let's go and check it out in the browser. And if we refresh the index page, as you can see, it's being uh, cut down. So now if we go to that individual post, we'll still see all the text. So that's great. So now let's say, for example, we want to cut this down even more down to let's say 40 characters or whatever you want 
we can add a function inside of our function.php file to do that. And if we go back to the documentation, there was a piece of snippet down here we were looking at before. We could just copy this and just paste this right inside of our, our PHP or our function.php file. And actually, let's go ahead and do that. And also to check out the documentation, I'll have the link in the description, but you could check out this filter, um, all the values you could use inside the filter. And right here, I'm gonna be using this one actually. And also the add filter function itself, you could check that out here. So I'll have all these links down in the description if you wanna check all these out. So let's go ahead and just copy this and paste this right into our function.php file. So inside of our functions.php file, I'm just gonna go and just paste that right here at the bottom. So this is great. Uh, WordPress gives us filters so we can filter out like things within our project, so that's great. So let's just make a custom uh, function name. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna name this talk, that'd be good. And make sure you copy this. and just uh, paste that right here. And this value, you could read up on that right in our documentation. I showed you that link. You, that link could be down in the description. You just click on that. So that is good. And then I'm just gonna get rid of this. Okay, great. And then just save it. And we just added our own custom filter. So that's great. So let's go back to the documentation and check that out. So if we go and refresh it, as you can see, our text is now being cut down to, what was that, 20, I think it was? If we go back here, yes, 20. So that is working. So that's great. So let's actually move that up a little bit more. Let's move it to uh, 65 or something like that. Save that again, go back here, refresh it. Okay, very good. Okay, that's pretty much for it for this video. So we covered all these functions. So now in the next video, we're gonna be going into post thumbnails. So I'll see you then.